That's that's a feat. Uh, what's kind of been your initial impressions now that you've uh, been here for a couple of days of camp and been, been around these guys? Um, I love it. I love the room. Uh, I love the energy in the room and just like the positivity. You know, everybody wants to see everybody succeed, and uh, and you know, everybody's trying to teach everybody, catch everybody up, so we can all play fast and we can all win. Uh, I like him. I just, again, you know, he has good energy and he's not afraid to ask questions. You know, he'll ask us stuff, but then in the middle of meetings, he'll stop our coach and ask, like, to make sure he understands, you know. And uh, you like to see that out of a rookie, not just somebody who's going to sit there and kind of let the plays pass them. He's trying to catch up and make sure he's on top of stuff. I know that when you guys talk about the first thing about how you trade the linebackers to the side. Have you mostly just been defensive end here? Like, what, what has your role been so far here? Uh, yeah, strictly DN. Um, you know, we'll be in a four eye sometimes, but it's just been DN. Uh, and I know I'll probably work a little bit on inside during uh, just uh, passing downs, but for sure, DN. So, are you the best lineman ever to come out of Villanova or Holly Long or what? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, Howie got a lot of accolades, man. He, he bought us a new weight room uh, the year before I left, and you just see all his Pro Bowls, all, like, all his accomplishments, you know. So that's somebody I definitely look up to, and he, he's definitely a GOAT. So how would you compare covering the Chiefs, you know, Super Bowl, amongst the best in the league, and also coming to the Saints, mm -hmm. considering one of the best teams in the league? What are the differences or maybe the similarities between the two teams? Uh, no, I see a lot of similarities. You know, I see a lot of uh, a focused goal, a focused mindset. Uh, that's something you definitely need. Uh, and definitely I saw in the later two years of uh, my career at the Chiefs uh, is that focused mindset. We all know what the goal is, and it's something that's harped on, especially from the leadership, our uh, Sean, Coach, Coach Payton, and uh, down to just in our room, D-line, talking about it. Beneficial, uh Beneficial having like a that pretty deep rotation with guys just like uh, Ryan Nielsen was saying, there's no first time for the team. Yeah. It's like everybody's kind of rotating. Uh, yeah, um, he stays true to that, you know. Uh, he has no starting D line, um, and he says that uh, and reminds us about that. It's everybody has their opportunities, and he rotates us. He, we have a good rotation, you know. We don't go more than four plays, but he wants us going all out uh, those four plays. and. Knowing that, it enables you as a player to go all out. Yeah, it's just like you're not conserving, uh, trying to. Yeah. 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 That it? We good? Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Eric McCoy now.